welcome to a brand new episode of The Core. My name is Alex, and today's Thursday, October 31st, 2019. This week, The Core is going red in support of Red Ribbon Week here at MESMS. Let's start the show today with a look at the current and upcoming weather with our student meteorologist, Bridget. Hello, Yorktown. I'm student meteorologist, Bridget. It's around 1 o'clock, and as you can see from the parking lot behind me, we're currently experiencing cloudy skies. The current temperature is 61 degrees, and it appears to be the perfect day to play some sports. Tonight and leading into early morning, you expect to see cloudy skies and terrain. As always, have yourself a wonderful day, and let's take it back to you in the studio. Thanks for the update, Bridget. Now let's try to put a smile on your face with the jokes of the day. Hi, my name is Alona, and here are some jokes to remember the next time you're in a situation to tell some jokes. What did the zero say to the eight? Nice belt. What did the shark say when he ate the clownfish? This tastes funny. Join us again for some more jokes tomorrow, and until then, let's take it back to you in the studio. Thanks, kids. Now let's go to Patrick with today's true or false. Hello. My name is Patrick, and today's true or false topic is holidays. Let's see if you can figure out which statements are true or false. Chinese New Year never falls on a Tuesday. False. All Saints Day is the day after Halloween. True. Canadian Thanksgiving takes place one month before American Thanksgiving. True. Thanks for watching today's true or false. Now let's take it back to you in the studio. Now for all you word lovers out there, we present to you the word of the day. Hi, my name is Ava, and welcome to a segment dedicated to improving your vocabulary, the word of the day. Today's word is depict. Depict is a verb. Depict is defined as to represent or show in the form of a picture. Sketch and illustrate are synonyms for depict. In a sentence, depict can be used like this. The painter chose to depict a plain prairie landscape using bold colors. Can you use it today? Thanks, kids. Now let's take a look at today's survey results with Liam. Hello, everybody. My name is Liam, and I'm here to deliver the data we collected from today's survey. Today's survey question was, what is your favorite Halloween treat? 64 people responded. Let's take a look at the results. In first place, with 56.3% of the vote, was all candy is good. In second place, with 32.8% of the vote, was chocolate anything. In third place, with 4.7% of the vote, was no candy for me. Rounding out the survey was pops of some sort, some kind of bubblegum, and non-chocolatey, chewy, and sticky. That's all the data we have to share with you today. You can participate in our next survey by clicking the link in our YouTube page. But now, let's take it back to you in the studio. It's now from the creative mind of Ella. It's today's stop motion short title, The Adventures of Mr. Highlighter. Now from the creative minds of Patrick, it's today. Oh yeah, I know that. Join us again for some more joy, more joy, joy, joy. Hi, my name is Ella, and here are some jokes to remember the next time you're in a situation to tell. To find it, you have to skip count or more. Uh, blah. Now let's take it back to you in the studio. 
Try your best to stay safe. What? You didn't say button. You said button. And welcome to the segment dedicated to improving your ro vo it's right around one o'clock, and you can. <laughs> Here are some jokes to t remember. <laughs> the painter chose to depict a plane. Uh, plane <laughs> Rounding out the survey. While it's during middle school and out in the community, we strive to be safe, responsible, and respectful. In the spirit of this, we wanted to explore the following: how to be safe on the bus. You can be safe on the bus by not standing up or screaming. You can be safe on the bus by staying in your seat and not talking really loud. I can be safe on the bus by sitting down and minding my own business. You can be safe on the bus by not standing up. Hello, my name is Sarah and I'm going to share some facts and events that took place on this day in history. On this day in the year 1986, Space Shuttle Challenger lifts off for its final successful mission. Based on this event, we're going to focus today's facts on the Challenger. Seven crew members died in the explosion, including Christian McClough, who would have been the first teacher in space. That's look back at history for the day of October 30th. Now let's take it back to you in the studio. kids we were wondering who's your favorite fictional character let's see what the kids in the hall had to say my favorite character from a movie tv show or book is spider-man because he can climb on like buildings and he can swing from buildings and he's cool iron man because he saved the world and he like he sacrificed himself to save the world from thanos he was like i am iron man and you know he's like nice to people He's cool, he's rich. My favorite character is Christian McCaffrey because um, he runs over people. My favorite character from a movie is Rocky because he's a great fighter. My favorite character is SpongeBob because he's funny. My favorite character is Percy Jackson from the book series Percy Jackson and the Olympians. He's my favorite because he's strong and is very smart. Um, I like Summer from Wonder because she's kind to Augie and always like stands by him when people are mean. My favorite character in a book is Harry Potter because it's actually a book and a movie, but Harry Potter because he goes on all these adventures and with his friends and they get to save like the wizarding world like seven times. And there's a bunch of spells and it's full of adventure and he kind of just does everything that he does is full of excitement and there's never like a dull moment in the story when he's in the story. Okay, so my favorite character from a book or movie is um, the Wizard of Oz, the, well, well, the book, the Wizard of Oz, Dorothy. I really love the show because, um, well, the movie, because of the amazing song she sings, Summer of the Rainbow, and I love the story and um, the way she makes new friends. Thanks kids, now let's go to Luke with the lesson of the day. Good afternoon, my name is Luke and today's lesson is from English class. Today in English class we learned about generosity. Being generous is giving something to someone and being kind. You can give, you can give something like time or money. That's all from today's lesson. Now let's take it back to you in the studio. We want to thank everybody who contributed to today's show. Make sure you've got that notification button turned on so you don't miss our next new episode. Try to stay safe, responsible, and respectful, and I have a great day.